Olivia and Mika and Natalie. Thanks for coming. Sorry I'm like seven minutes late. I'm on Dan's laptop. Mine wasn't working. And then I had to load it on his. And then I couldn't log in because I forgot my password. That's really boring. But now I'm here. Yay. Hello. Cosette and Jemima and Madison and Chara Clark and Annie. I'm just going to tweet. One second. Hey, it kind of matches my shirt. Look at that. I'm all coordinated without trying. Uh, ba 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 live now. Hello. Yes. Tweeting. Tweeted. Uh, hi, Taylor and Hannah and Maya and Natasha and Fishy Phil and Bridget and Cor and Dora is cool 85 and Casalia and Amanda and Paulina and Lexi and Gianna and Lisa Sticks, Sammy the Woo, Nibsy and Ashlan. Welcome to the show. Let me just, ooh, I've gone full screen. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, what have I done? Come back. I'm not used to this computer. Do you know people who've got the scrolling on their computers confuses me so much. Thankfully, Dan doesn't have that, at least. Um, so, Emma said, why did you use that GIF in your tweet? I actually just searched Amazing Phil into the GIF search, and that was the second result, and I thought that was mildly hilarious. That that's the second thing that represents me out of all GIFs. Something disturbingly creepy of me in bed turning my head around like the exorcist so i thought why not use that as the way to advertise this live show because you know if you're photoshopping a human face and you make it really weird for ages and then when you press like put it back to normal the person looks a little bit prettier well why not do that with a gif now you're pleasantly surprised that i'm not an exorcist face D does that make sense i don't think that makes sense um Anyway, I just, that kind of looks like there's a poop emoji on my head, doesn't it? Now you're not going to be able to unsee that whenever I move underneath it. It's an ampersand with lights in it, but it's broken. So it's just a rusty ampersand that does nothing. Uh, I still like it, though. But yeah, it looks like a weird brown hat. Uh, hello, Pharrell and Illusion and Carissa and Olivia68, who said, thanks for making me happy. Oh, that's really sweet. Thank you for being here. Howell Senpai, who has terrible Wi-Fi, so... I'll try and say that slower so it doesn't buffer. How senpai. Probably just heard that. It's horrible when your internet's bad. I feel your pain. Annie Schultz says, where's the Muse poster? There. Have I just had it like slightly tilted that way? More than usual. Hi, Librite Lester, who is painting your room. Ooh, what color? Bright red. Match me. Match me and my phone having a red day today, although a psychological study said that if you put people in a red room, they will become more angry than people in a blue room. So if you start feeling angry, maybe paint it again. Shaquille Daniel with one red crown is here. We will all bow to you, Shaquille Daniel. Hey, Rach and Mary-Kate Nolan one. Welcome to the show. I hope you've all had a lovely weekend. Uh, from some family friends, I've learned that summer holidays have begun for most people now. So how did you all spend your first weekend off if you're a person that goes to school, as not all of you are? There might be an 89-year-old person in an old people's home, or an explorer on the side of a mountain who doesn't go to school. But if you do, how have you spent your first weekend off? Sarah's gone to a concert. Michaela went camping, brave, after experiencing that with Dill. I would not want to do it in real life. Chadulin is in Disney. You're at Disneyland, and you are watching me on you now. Come on, it's the most magical place on Earth. You should go hang out with Mickey instead. Or I could be Mickey. Want to know? It's real me. Uh, uh, Lupe is watching Korean drama. Cool. I've never watched a car, but it has been recommended to me a lot of times. Khalifa P3. PS34 is here with two red crowns. We all bow down to you, Khalifa P3. Sorry, I can't say your name. Lisa's wearing a shirt. That's, that's, not, <laughs> that's not an activity. Are you usually naked? Is this like a big deal that you've put a shirt on? Uh, Lauren Little is listening to Five Sauce. Good choice. Julia has 24 days left of school. That's confusing. Are you Australian or something? In your winter? Kaduran can't hear me. Refresh the page. Refresh the page. Binge watching anime. What have I been doing today? Well, I have been helping Dan make a video, which should be released at some point. Uh, it's going to be a good one. Don't want to spoil anything about it. It's been funny to film it. 
with him. So I, it's not a collab with me. I just helped him film. Uh, so look out for that at some point. I've been doing that. Also, I did something that I think if I told Phil of, I'd say, I don't know, 10 years old, 9 years old, if I said I'd done that, he'd be like, what? What is your life? And that is, I ate two magnums today. I actually ate two magnums. <laughs> and this is significant to young Phil, because as a kid, like... I was never allowed a magnum. If, if I don't know if you've got them in other countries. A magnum is like the expensive ice cream that you'd get from an ice cream truck or you'd get from one of those freezers in a supermarket. All other ice creams cost about, I don't know, 60p. But the magnum cost a pound. And my mum would never let me have a magnum when I went to the supermarket because it was too expensive. So I'd always have to choose one of the other ice creams. And I was always like, what would it like be like to actually eat a magnum one day anyway well today i only went and had two magnums take that calf yes i had a white chocolate one and then that was about i don't know 11 a.m i got up quite early today and then i had another one at about four because it's really hot so i was like i'm just gonna have both magnums what if it rains tomorrow you know yolo i didn't just say that so, so I ate two magnums, and it was glorious. Stop flagging me. I'll get deleted. I'm not naked. Though I am talking about magnums a lot. Um, they're pretty... How? What are they? They're basically is a shell of chocolate of a certain flavor. So you can have white chocolate or dark chocolate. They've got weird raspberry ones. And then inside, it's just really tasty vanilla ice cream on a wooden stick. Katie said the white chocolate one's my favorite. Yeah, I think they're my favorite as well. I've got a very specific way of eating a magnet. Buy all of the chocolate off carefully so none of it goes on your legs. And then just eat the ice cream. I'm not all about the people that bite into the shell and the ice cream at the same time. What are you doing? Like, why would anyone ruin the magnum experience by eating it like that? Uh, yeah, so that's, that, that was the highlight of my day. I had two magnums. Why are you so early, says Sai. Yeah, sorry about that. I am going to a barbecue uh, soon. This isn't going to be a full live show. It's a short one. But I thought, I, I need to hang out with these guys. I can't not do it, if possible. So I thought, I'll just come say hello for a little bit before I go off to a barbecue, have some burgers, and I don't know why uh, vanilla Coke just came to my head. That was, that was the drink that's in my head. Maybe I want some vanilla Coke. I don't know. Probably talking about Magnums. So I'm going to go do that at some point. I'm going to a barbecue too, said Tyler. It's a very barbecue-y day. It's just nice outside. A little bit muggy. Could be a bit clearer. The air's a bit like... I feel like I'm drinking the air with a straw. Jotalina just gave me a load of likes. Thanks, Jotalina. And Ali Kakez has arrived. Let's have a look at the top fans. Shasin gets a Magnum. Jotalina gets a Twister. Who else is a top fan? Mary Kay Nolan One gets a... Oh my god, I've run out of ice creams in my head already. A fab. Alexis Parson gets a feast. And Just Van Trash gets a Cornetto. Although, Cornetto is probably one of the best. It's one of my faves. So many textures in a Cornetto. You've got the crispy top with the nuts, then the vanilla and the sauce. Then the cone is usually incredible unless it's soggy. And then that bit at the bottom of a Cornetto. Oh my god. I think if they just serve those in gourmet restaurants on their own, it's like that really thick, dark chocolate. Might just salivate all over the keyboard. That's my favorite bit of a Cornetto, too. I mean, whose isn't? It's, it's amazing. It's the perfect ice cream. I think that's the best ice cream. I don't know why I'm talking about ice cream so much. That was not the plan for this live show. I didn't think, you know, I'm just going to sit and talk about ice creams. Waffle about ice creams. Hey. Uh, <laughs> so that wasn't the plan, but it's what's happened. Phil, you're making me want ice cream. I'm sorry, Nicole. I mean, you can go outside and get one. The night is young. Go treat yourself. It's too hot to function in LA, said Stella. No! Yeah, it's pretty hot here. How hot is it here today? I will tell you. I will be your personal weather. <laughs> your personal weather. In London, right now, it is 23 degrees. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. You'll have to work it out. I've got so many different countries in my weather. What have I got? London... Uh, why isn't it working? Slide. Kissimmee, Los Angeles, Tokyo, 
New York, Phoenix, Las Vegas, Costa Mesa, and Queensland and Sydney, just to see what it's going to be like when I go out there on tour. Uh, it's winter in Australia, and it's currently 19 degrees there. Well, I mean, that's still pretty warm. Sign me up. I'm looking forward to that. Your winter sounds refreshing. Um, are you excited for Australia? I'm so excited to go to Australia. I'm totally going to hug a koala. Hope it doesn't give me chlamydia, because that can happen, apparently. Did that happen to One Direction? I don't know if that was a, like, a, a lie in the newspaper, or if one of them did get chlamydia from a koala. How does that happen? Because they have it in their pee, so if you're holding one and they pee on you, then you can catch it. Wow, Phil. I'm listening with my grandma. Sorry. <laughs> it's a fact. I think it's a fact. Oh. Okay, don't talk about that. Fine, fine, I won't. Harry got peed on by the koala, said Wolf. There he am. I'm glad you're here to update me on the 1D knowledge, because I wouldn't have known. How do I scroll back? I'm just not used to using Dan's laptop at all. Cam Miguel just arrived. Thank you for coming, Cam Miguel, to the show. It's 2 a.m. in New Zealand. Thank you for staying up. Well, technically I did you a favor because I did the show a bit earlier than usual, so you can stay awake. And it's not like going to bed at 4 a.m., is it, eh? 2 a.m. is slightly acceptable. So if there are any Australians here, yeah, as I said, I'm coming to your land, and there's still some tickets left to come and see me and Dan on tour. If you go to danandphiltour.com, there is Australian dates in Perth, Adelaide, Sydney, I can't remember the other ones. I don't want to say the wrong thing. Where are we going? Guys, I'm so disorganized. I totally know where we're going, but I don't want to say the wrong town. I wanted to say Melbourne. Yes, Melbourne, Perth, Sydney, Brisbane, Adelaide. Not in that order at all. Don't know why I read it in such a weird order. But if you're in any of those places, come hang out. That would be great. Australia. Jordan, maybe you should try out the magnet thing when you are in Australia. That could be some thinking, actually, because I completely failed when I was in America, so I could collect some Australian magnets. Maybe of some kangaroos and some dingoes. I just got here. What did I miss? So, I spoke about ice for a long time, and now I've stopped talking about ice cream. Notice me, play, said Alexis. I'll bake you biscuits. Well, you've just been noticed. Make me the biscuits. I'm just going to scroll through the, like, the chat as it's not refreshing. Hello, Maisie. Why are you using Dan's laptop? Because I couldn't get mine to work today with you now. I don't know why. So Dan's laptop came to save the day. Webcam. Don't like the webcam as much. I'm just going to put it out there. It seems a bit less good quality. It's because it's so thin, I don't even know how they could fit a camera in this thing. My summer break is over, I'm so sad. Oh no! Just have a load of ice cream. That's all I'm thinking about right now. Elaine said, how are you so clumsy? How are you still alive? I don't know. I, I, I can trip over my own feet when there's nothing in front of me. So I stubbed my toe on this coffee table, which wants me dead. It, like my, my wounds are healing slightly. Look at that. You see that? Uh, that's a bit crotchy, sorry. Um, my wounds are healing slightly from the coffee table. Then I went and stubbed my toe on it, which was ridiculous. So I stubbed my toe, and I was like, oh, I'm going to fall over. I tripped over my own legs, and I went, Bleh! and poked myself right in the eye. Thankfully, I had the power of blinkage, and I blinked. So I didn't poke my eye out, otherwise I'd be doing this live show with an eye patch on. That would, that would not be good. Jotalina said, you should broadcast from your phone. The quality would be better. Yeah, but then I'd have to be like this. And I think my arm would ache after a while. I like looking down into the uh, the laptop. Phil Trash said, hi, Mum. Did you finish Haikyuu? Yes. I, I'm pretty sure I finished Haikyuu. Although, did it not have a very memorable ending? Because I, I totally don't remember what happened at the end. Sorry, that, that was horrible. It's like a jump scare. Let it go, let it go. Am I back? Can you hear me? Is everything good? Hi, turtle. Yay, 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 yay. Sorry, our internet's being weird today. I don't know why that happened. Yes, you're back. Yay! Woo! 
Um, sorry about that. Don't know what happened. Our internet keeps cutting out today. Um, so I forgot what I was talking about. Probably ice cream. Uh, Ali said, what happened with the mushroom in your house, bud? After I took that photo, I noticed it's not mushroom. It's plural. We have mushrooms growing out of that house plan. I don't really know what to do about it. I think I'll just leave them. It's like a little garden then, isn't it? I googled it and it said that's fine for the plant, just don't eat the mushroom. So I'll just make sure not to eat the mushrooms. And if a baby arrives in the house for some reason, I'll tell the baby not to eat the mushroom. And if a dog arrives in the house, I'll tell the dog not to eat the mushroom. Um, so yeah, I'll see what it grows into. It's really tiny at the moment. I just joined said Abby. You didn't miss it freezing. Mushrooms gross me out. I don't like the taste of them at all. But in a cartoony kind of pretty way, they're nice to look at aesthetically. Kind of remind me of the stress mushroom, and we all remember what happened with that. It was not good. <laughs> that was not good. I love mushrooms. They taste so, like, intensely soily to me. It's like chewing on soil. That's how I feel about a mushroom. It's like chewing on a soil. Chewing on a soil, yeah. Because that's how to speak English. Um, they taste like dirt. They do. I guess some people just like the taste of dirt. I mean, coffee does taste a bit like that, like really bitter, but you get used to it. And then it's amazing. Notice me, Senpai. You have been noticed, Anna. Let's have a look at the top fans. Sashin gets a mushroom. Aiden gets a mushroom. Camille gets a mushroom. Alexis gets a mushroom. And Jutalina gets a plushy mushroom. Congratulations. I just woke up to Catherine. Yeah, good morning to any people in America that are just waking up. It's like a breakfast live show for you, isn't it? Hope you're munching down on some cereal, or if you're in America, obviously waffles or pancakes. Enjoy those for sure. Have you been watching any TV? If you finished Haikyuu, oh yeah, that's what I was talking about. I can't remember if I finished Haikyuu or not, which is a bad sign for how much I enjoyed the second season. I mean, I thought it was good, but I didn't love it as much as the first for some reason. Just, I don't know why. Maybe I've done too much sports anime in a row. I've been watching Avatar, The Legend of Aang. This is really cool. Uh, it's made on Nickelodeon. And it's about this guy who is an airbender and he can control the air. And I've only seen three episodes, but my friend recommended it to me. It looks really bad quality. I don't understand how I bought a DVD and it looks so terrible. Like, I don't know if it looked, sorry, if it looked terrible on the TV, but it's really blurry for half the time. And then I tried watching it on Amazon Video and it looks just as bad. So maybe the animation will improve as I go on, uh, because I think the early one, maybe they were just not spending that much on it. But it's a really good show. I'm enjoying the story and the characters and it's funny. So. I'll keep watching that. It's quite refreshing as well because it's not an anime because I've seen so much anime recently. Uh, it's just a cartoon, which is a bit different. Yes, I love it so much. I'm watching it. I'm on the third, third season. Yeah, I bought the box set, so I've got all of them. So I will keep watching it and update you if uh, I continue to like it. I like the characters and also the flying magical bison, <laughs> which is which is the only thing that is it's really weird. Like, whatever's happening with my DVD player, all the characters are blurry, but then this bison is like super crisp. So I don't know what's happened. But anyway, it's good. Uh, that's my favorite show ever, said Alaras X. A lot of other people have been telling me to watch, I think it's called Stranger Things on Netflix, which I haven't got around to watching the first episode yet. But I do like Winona Ryder, so I might give that a try if I want something spooky. You know, some spooks. What did you think of Comic-Con? I've seen some of the announcements. I watched the trailer for Justice League, which looked more promising, actually. I thought Ezra Miller was amazing in the scene that they had in the trailer. So hopefully that sparks off an amazing film. I didn't love Batman vs. Superman, so hopefully Justice League will be better. Um, so that looked good. What else did I see from? Oh yeah, Blair Witch Project. They've made a new Blair Witch movie, which I'm so skeptical about. You can't just bring black the bring black the Blair Blair. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, bring bl <laughs> that's so hard to say. Try saying bring back the Blair Witch five times fast. 
Bring back the Blair Witch, bring back the Blair Witch, bring back the Blair Witch, bring back the Blair Witch. Oh, there. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. Um, I watched the trailer and it did seem really scary, actually. But then there was a bit where the tent flew off into the sky and I was like, That's, that, what's, what's doing that? Well, how, how has the witch done that? Uh, so I, I might watch it when it comes out. I don't know. Probably not. You summoned the Blair Witch and Abby, that's why you couldn't say it. Sorry, Blair Witch. Don't make a sack of twigs outside my bedroom door. <laughs> when is Phil is not on fire? Oh, not yet. It's, it usually sprouts around uh, the start of November. Sprouts. Uh, <laughs> sprouts. Look forward to that uh, in November if you want something to look forward to. I met Tim Minchin in London on Friday. That's cool. Machete Pills. He's done a new musical called Groundhog Day, which is like the story of Groundhog Day. I used to watch that quite a lot as a kid, which is ironic because it's about a day repeating over and over and over again. Uh, so I am intrigued, actually, what that musical is going to be like because I really like the movie Groundhog Day and I like the concept of people being trapped in a time loop. Whenever that happens in a TV show, like the X-Files had one with a bomb exploding in a bank over and over again. Uh, Buffy did it. It was rubbish episode with Buffy doing it. It was quite, well, I guess it was quite funny, but it wasn't the best example of that plot device. I prefer it when it's serious and not used as a comedy thing. Anyway, that's quite specific. Are you still playing to Pokemon Go? Po oh no, what's happened? Pokemon Go. Uh, yes, I am. I stopped playing after a bit because I want to do the next lot in the gaming video that we're going to do. So I didn't want to be like level 28 when we do the next video. So Dan's been playing loads on his phone and I've been watching him play saying we should go out and film a gaming video so I can play it as well on mine. So we'll do that soon. But the next gaming video is Undertale, um, which we were going to film last week but Dan had pneumonia. How selfish. Uh, so he couldn't say one sentence without coughing loads. Pneumonia is quite serious. I, I, I just thought he had a cough. And I was actually the guy. I felt quite bad because Dan was like, I've been coughing for three days. Uh, maybe I should see the doctor. And I was like, nah, people get coughs all the time. I mean, just get some cough medicine. You don't need to see a doctor about it. But then, like, day five, he was like, no, I'm going to go to the doctor. And then doctor was like, oh, you've got pneumonia. Have these antibiotics. I felt bad. Like, I was like, don't go to the doctor. People get coughs all the time. I think... That stems from a weird, it's not like a fear, but I always have this feeling, which is really stupid, that if I go to the doctor, I'm going to be wasting their time because there's people out there that are sicker than me. And you should never have that attitude because if you feel something's wrong, just go to the doctor. Even if it's embarrassing, they've seen it all before a thousand times. So you're not wasting their time. It'll probably take about three minutes. You should do it. So I've learned my lesson now through Dan, getting pneumonia. Uh, but yeah, he's feeling uh, uh, mostly better now. Still doing a few coughs. People were concerned on Twitter. No, he's fine. Uh, mainly fixed now. Bradley's got the same thing. It's nasty, isn't it? Hi, you're amazing. Thanks, Daniela. So are you. Monkey Noodles can't hear me. Refresh the page, Monkey Noodles. Hopefully you got that sign language. Let's have a look at the top fans. Shashin is number one. You get a monkey. Oli Amet Yid rim hope i said that right you get some noodles i didn't get a dog camille gets a frog and jutalina gets a tiny cactus not being that creative with the gifts today sorry guys i'll i'll think of some uh, more elaborate presents hi grace talk about mcr said Paterna. that was a thing my chemical romance did a whole cryptic video and everyone was like what is happening are they coming back is it going to be a new album? Is it going to be a tour? And then I'm not even actually sure what it is that's happening. Something that releasing a special version of the Black Parade. Is that what's happening? I felt like it was a bit of a letdown from the hype. Because even I, when I got the email, I was like, are they coming back? Um, so I don't know how they could have got the hype for what they are releasing without scaring everyone, you know? Maybe being slightly less cryptic about it but whatever happens it's quite cool that something's happening an anniversary of the black parade are they releasing anything though or are they just saying it's been 10 years yay um i hope they do release something at least 
10 year anniversary. Okay. Maha said, so talk about your mushroom. I did. It's, it's about this, like that big. No, that big. I took like 27 photos of it trying to get the picture for Twitter because it kept being out of focus. iPhone needs a better macro lens, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to cultivate this mushroom. My mum said that fairies will visit underneath it as well. Which I guess is good luck. Unless they're evil fairies, because you never know. Uh, so, yeah. That's the mushroom. Uh, what else have you been doing this week? Uh, Dan and I, as is the, I, keep, I keep wanting to say me and Dan, but I get lambasted. Is that a word? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, for saying me and Dan. So Dan and I uh, have been working on editing the Tatanov documentary, which has been so cool watching all the footage back. We've been sat in like a proper editing suite with actual editors. So someone that knows how to navigate through a million timelines has been editing while we've been saying, no, move to that one, swap that around, do that, do that. Uh, which is quite refreshing from not physically editing myself. Um, but I'm so excited for you guys to see it. It's looking really good. And it was, it was just weird, like, I obviously film everything that I do myself. So I edit the next day or something. So I just remember what all the footage is. But seeing things from about three months ago, I was like, oh, yeah, that happened. And I said that. Um, so I'm excited for you to see it when it comes out. Whenever that may be. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, lots of sitting and editing. That's why I've earned my uh, three magnums today. Not three magnums, two magnums today. Wish it was three magnums. Maybe at the barbecue they will serve some ice cream as well and it'll just be ice cream day. You should always have one of those days. This is my first live stream, said Morgan. Welcome! Thank you for coming. It's not a full length one today, so I'm going to have to go soon. But thanks for coming. It's nice to see you. Uh, oh, wait. Have I frozen again? Everything's frozen. Can you see me? Come back. Oh, we're back. I don't know if you it froze for you then. No. <laughs> that was weird. Um, what else have I been up to? I have been playing a lot of Mario Kart yesterday. That was fun. Did some Mario Karting. I, got, I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but I got quite good at Mario Kart yesterday. I was playing against someone who was... They changed their knee to look like Snoop Dogg, and they were called Snoop Dogg. And I kept beating them. And I, I, I beat them four times, and I never usually win. So the fact that I won four times, I was like, yes, take that Snoop Dogg. Um, oh my God, cringe flashback to shaking hands with Snoop Dogg. Hello, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> I can't believe that's how I introduced myself to Snoop Dogg. Anyway, I like your t-shirt. What is it? It's Sunnydale High School, which is a reference from a certain vampire slaying program. The Sherlock season four trailer just came out. Shut the door. No, it didn't. Did it? Oh my gosh. Is everyone leaving to watch that? No way. That's exciting. If that's true, I don't think that's true. But if it is, I'll be watching that as soon as this live show is over. Nice to meet you, Snoop Dogg. That's what I said, Lily. Oh my gosh. Nice to meet you, Snoop Dogg. What a cringe. I'm just a walking cringe. What's your favorite idea? Mine is being creative. What's your favorite Mario Kart track? Ooh, good question. I like the new one, Wild Woods. That's cool. I like that one. I hate Cheese Land, surprisingly. Not just because I don't like cheese, but because you skid all over the place. And it's really hard. How did you get that idea? Pokemon Go came to Japan, said Alicia. I'm so happy for you guys. You had to wait so long. I thought we had to wait so long. We had to wait a week longer than America, which was very sad. Ash, the fan lover, said, you should wear the ice cream shirt to the barbecue, but I'll get barbecue sauce all over it. I might wear it in a YouTube video. Dorito opinions and pose awkwardly for us, senpai, said verbal giraffe. Uh, Dorito opinions, the best flavor is obviously chili heat wave. And then followed by that, I'd say the plain salted ones with the Doritos flavored salsa, like the hot salsa. They're the two best ones. Anyone that buys tangy cheese and dips that in tomato salsa, I'm like, reassess your life, please. Tangy cheese in salsa, no. First of all, bark cheese. Second of all, that doesn't work. 
I did it once because I was like, there's no other crisps available. Speaking of, I should probably go buy some things to bring to the barbecue. I don't want to be that guest that's like, hi, I've turned up with nothing. So I might go buy some chili heat wave Doritos. Rainbow Road, it's too hard, Alicia, especially the new one. It's très difficile. It's a big struggle. Green is not a creative... Why is everyone singing that? I guess I started it off. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, so I played uh, Mario Kart so much, I started dreaming about it. I always do that with a video game. I dreamed about Doom when I was playing that as well. Uh, so I dreamt that I was in Mario Kart. My chat is completely frozen, by the way, so sorry I'm not uh, acknowledging what you're saying. Maybe if I chat into it, he'll look back. Hi, Phil. No. Hi, Phil. I don't even know if you can see me. Oh, mine came through. <laughs> That's awkward. Uh, I'm going to check Twitter and see if you're all saying you've frozen or if you can talk to see me or not. I don't know. Let me see. Oh, that's Dan's Twitter. Oops. You could just tweet on his account. I don't even know what I'd say. I'm so bad at pranks. All right, let me check my app. I see you. We can see you. Thank you, Alistair88 and Legit Lester and Classic Lester and Safari DJH. Um, I'll like all of your tweets. There you go. Thanks. So, I can't read the chat. I, I am leaving soon anyway, but that's a sign, I guess, that I'm going to be late for my barbecue. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say hello to the top bands again. Sashin, Ali Ahmet, Aidan Salal, Camille, Joe Tolina, can I access, no, I can't even access the uh, primary, what are they called, premium messages, they've all gone. They've all gone. I'll just scroll up through the chat. Pastel edits IRL, said Jojo. Maybe, it keeps being requested. Uh, HT6304 said, help, my grandma's getting a tattoo. I think that's cool. You should be embracing it rather than doing a scared face. Microwave Toaster's dad should have said hello. Watch Legend of Korra. Is that not what comes next? Or are they separate? I don't know. I'll watch this one first. Um, anyone else? Wanderlust said Shrek 5. Are we excited about Shrek 5? Or is that just, is that too much? Oh, uh, the chat came back momentarily. Just from a few people. Luna lives in Texas and got sunburn on her feet. Oh no, that's one of the worst places to have sunburn. Ugh, on your feet. That's terrible. I feel your pain. I'm sorry. And one more thing, Netflix Dan Phil said, bye, I just celebrated my birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, Netflix Dan Phil. Okay, I've got to go because I'm going to be late. I uh, just wanted to say hi to you guys and have a quick chat. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a nice time. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you to Delicious Fictitious, Toxic, Buckley, Sierra Heronade, Shasheen, Netflix Dan Phil, Alex the Great Papyrus, Cookie904, Cindy's Moving Castle, Lucy, Lizzie, Look It's Hannah, The Real Mariah, Cryptic Meg, and Madison. It's been amazing. Good.